Thank you for listening to our lessons from our daily Bible reading. The lesson today is, let me explain. I knew a little boy once who, every time that I caught him doing something wrong, he'd look up and he'd say, let me explain. And you know, kids are like that. They want to explain away responsibility. And so you teach them, you train them. No, you made the choice. And sometimes punishment came along with that. In our reading yesterday, we find in 1 Samuel 13 that uh, the time had come, and Samuel, of course, was uh, still guiding the people in the spiritual sense, I guess you'd say. But Saul was the king that they had chosen. Well, there was a battle raging, and Samuel had told him back in chapter 10 and verse 13, you go and you tarry seven days, then I'll come and tell you what must be done. Well, in 1 Samuel 13, you find that Samuel tarried, and he was in the seventh day, and he decided that he was going to offer a sacrifice. He was going to push on. Now, Samuel comes forth, and we're told in verse 11, Samuel said, what hast thou done? Kind of reminds me of approaching that little boy time and time again. And sadly, Saul's response reminds me of that little boy. He says, because I saw that the people were scattered from me. In other words, everybody around was doing it. Everybody, I, would, I wanted to do whatever to help them. And if thou comest not within the days appointed, well, that wasn't quite true. He had not waited till the end of the seventh day. But he is kind of fudging it just a little bit so that it would fit into his explaining. And then it says the Philistines gathered themselves together at Mishmash. And therefore I said, the Philistines will come down now upon me to Gilgal. And I have not made supplication to the Lord. I forced myself, therefore, and offered a burnt offering. He said, I knew it was wrong, but I just had to. The way that you told me it, it wasn't working. I was afraid that the people were going to leave. And I was afraid that the way you told me wasn't going to get what needed to be done accomplished. All those excuses. Let me explain. Sound familiar? I mean, we see that within the church. People look. You know, why is it that you've rejected God's plan of worship? Why is it you've rejected God's plan of salvation? Why is it that you've rejected on and on it goes? Well, let me explain. You know, the people are going to leave if we don't do that. We've got to do that to keep them close. And you know, this just doesn't seem to be working. Which is translated as, I don't trust God's way. But anyway, the excuses roll forth. But it's notable that Samuel, in listening to the excuses that Saul gave, he simply said, Thou hast done foolishly. Thou hast not kept the commandment of the Lord thy God, which he commanded thee. And the result, of course, was horrible. The kingdom would not be going onward. He'd been told, as the people got a king, you obey God, everything's going to be fine. You disobey God. There's going to be consequences, and now the consequences are laid out. But the sad thing is, so many people today, they feel that they have the same prerogative that Saul thought he had and was rejected for. God tells us plainly, for example, in Romans, the second chapter and verse six, we're going to be judged for our deeds, not our thoughts, not our excuses, not the people around us, what they were doing, what they feared. God says, do it. And if we love him, we'll keep his commandments, John 14 and verse 15. I hope that each of us has a good day, that we don't see what God has commanded us to be like, to do, to teach, to say this day, and back away from it and try to give excuses. That is simply refusing to do what God has said, acting foolishly. But if we do what he does, what he says, it's an amazing day before us, for us, and those around us. Thank you for listening. Thank you again for joining us in this Bible study. We remind you, if you'd like to follow along in our daily Bible reading, the link below in the description of this video will give you the PDF 
so you can read right along with us. If you have any other questions or if you'd like information on a Bible study, contact us with the information provided on the screen before you.